Right now, we're facing a man-made disaster of global scale. Our greatest threat in thousands of years, climate change. The threat from climate change is serious, it is urgent, and it is growing. Our generation's response to this challenge will be judged by history. For if we fail to meet it boldly, swiftly, and together, we risk consigning future generations to an irreversible catastrophe. If we don't change the path that we're on today, the future of humanity is at stake. Every week we're seeing new and undeniable climate events, evidence that accelerated climate change is here right now. Droughts are intensifying, our oceans are acidifying, with methane plumes rising up from the ocean floor. We are seeing extreme weather events and the West Antarctic and Greenland ice sheets melting at unprecedented rates, decades ahead of scientific projections. No nation, however large or small, wealthy or poor, can escape the impact of climate change. Rising sea levels threaten every coastline. More powerful storms and floods threaten every continent. More frequent droughts and crop failures breed hunger and conflict in places where hunger and conflict already thrive. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. How could mankind wait so long and accept so much suffering and self-destruction? Would we ever be wise enough to stop these forces of greed for fossil fuel profits to finally bring lasting peace and protection to our shared planet? Our biosphere is being sacrificed so that rich people can live in luxury. We are all rich or poor, powerful or powerless. We will all suffer the effects of climate change and ecosystem destruction, and we are facing what is quickly becoming the greatest moral crisis of our time, that those least responsible will bear the greatest costs. Our planet's resources are limited, but there's no limit to the human imagination and our capacity to solve bigger problems. We have to work together as a global community to tackle this global threat before it is too late. Together, we can make real change happen. We cannot condemn our children and their children to a future that is beyond their capacity to repair. We know that we only have the possibility of avoiding a looming climate catastrophe if people like us refuse to give up don't forget nature, because today the destruction of nature accounts for more global emissions than all the cars and trucks in the world. We can put solar panels on every house, we can turn every car into an electric vehicle, but as long as Sumatra burns, we will have failed. So long as the Amazons Great forests are slashed and burned. So long as wetlands and bog peats are destroyed, our climate goals will remain out of reach and we will be shit out of time. And the time for half measures and climate denial is over. The solutions we seek require all of us to make real changes in the way we live our lives, operate our businesses, and govern our communities. Unless we move quickly away from fossil fuels, we're going to destroy the air we breathe, the water we drink, the health of our children, grandchildren, and future generations. And if we're going to avoid the worst of the impacts, then we've just got to act boldly. And we must act immediately because we're all responsible for this crisis. If we don't stop the destruction of our natural world, nothing else will matter. Why? 
because protecting and restoring forests, mangroves, wetlands, these huge, dense carbon sinks represent at least 30% of what needs to be done to avoid catastrophic warming. It is, at this time, the only feasible solution for absorbing carbon on a global scale. Simply put, if we don't protect nature, we can't protect ourselves. Time is running out. Now must be our moment for action. Across the globe, people of all communities are demanding change, marching and raising their voices to say enough is enough, we must act, and we must all act now. Millions of children are taking it to the streets, school striking for the climate to create attention for the climate crisis. If we are to survive on this planet, the only home any of us will ever know, for our climate, for our security, for our future, we need nature. Now, more than ever, Everything counts. What you do counts. Share this video. Talk about this.